Hello, and thank you for staying tuned to Health Matters on Channels Television. I am Mary Alale Yusuf. The world has over 161 million confirmed cases of COVID-19 now. And as at Friday, May the 14th, the death toll was about 3.35 million. In Nigeria, there were over 165,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19, more than 156,000 recoveries and 2,000 and 66 deaths. That's one death for the whole week. Totaling 321 new infections, 945 recoveries, and one death between May the 7th and May the 14th. Recovery rate is 94.4%. Case fatality is about 1.25%. Total samples tested are over 1.9 million. More than 1.7 million vaccines covering 87.8% of the target population have been administered. And those are your figures for COVID-19. But today we're talking orthodontics, which is a specialty of dentistry that deals with diagnosis, prevention, and correction of badly positioned teeth and jaws and misplaced bite patterns. It can also focus on modifying facial growth, known as dental facial orthopedics. With me in the studio is the president of the Nigerian Association of Orthodontists, Dr. Amy Shambusho. You're welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank it's you been a while. Yes, thanks <laughs> for having me again. Yeah. OK, so I was caught by your theme mm -hmm. for, um, for the World Orthodontics Health, am I calling it right? Yeah, yeah. World Orthodontics. Orthodontics Health, Health Day. Day. Yeah. And the theme is regardless of the braces you choose, choose a specialist orthodontist for professional care. Immediately I saw that my mind screamed quackery. Is somebody trying something funny? Are you having problems there? Good question. Thanks for having me again. So it's important that people recognize that, yes, they are dentists. But not all dentists are orthodontists. As dentists, you have about 5,000 dentists in Nigeria, but only? Just to, on, yes, but remember that you have only few, over 50 orthodontists. That means barely 1% yes. of dentists can be orthodontists, so which means that it's a very specialized field. And after being dentist, we go into training that takes about an average of five years, so it's to show that for these years, you know, there's much more that orthodontists have to have as a baggage that makes a difference between a dentist who might be, you know, trying his hands on fixing braces and orthodontics, but an orthodontist is the specialist who is qualified to fix, to braces. fix braces because it goes beyond designing a smile or giving you a beautiful smile, there's something functional about orthodontics. And you even mentioned dentofacial orthopedics, whereby we That was the first time I was hearing such a fantastic. thing. Fantastic. This I've is heard, actually... You know, apart yeah. from this year, before yes. this year, yes. I've not heard such a thing. Amazing. But do they do that here? Yes, we do. That's it's... my first specialty, even before being an orthodontist, because we use growing patterns to be able to guide the growth to achieve the correction of these malocclusions. Okay, so it's not just mechanical Okay, action. so from the growth of the head, you're correcting the teeth from the outset. From the jaw, yes. I you see. make an action on the jaw through various appliances that can slow down certain part of the jaw that is growing too fast or accelerate, you know, and f make, make the growth a bit more favorable in certain areas to be able to correct the malocclusion, which is a little bit more a natural way uh, of, of getting the body to respond. Okay, to let me process. ask you, what do you think is the most um, occurring malocclusion or tooth alignment problem in Nigeria? Good, good question. One thing that, maybe I'll take two. Okay. okay two. There's one that is very common that is called crowding. Crowding. Whereby, or oh, even you know, I have seen that. You yes. have teeth all over the place. Overlapping. In you front, like the behind. has a lot of teeth. But really, it's this because... This isn't overcrowding. Yes. This, this is a different sort of bite, if you look at this the is This is a crossbite. This is a crossbite. So this happens. But this is, this is a crossbite. And we have various appliances, uh, you this know, is, 
to, to help correct that. Is this a crowded um, tooth then? So that is a crossbite, an underbite, and that was corrected and with uh, a removable um, device. But what I wanted to say is that because our jaws are getting smaller with time and, you know, teeth come at the right size, then we see jaws that have too many teeth. Our and jaws are getting smaller? Yes, because Why? we are refining our um, diet. We're not okay. chewing on hard meat and bones like our ancestors, ancestors used to do. So okay. we tend to have smaller jaws. And teeth that come at the actual size find um, a no struggling. No space to stay. So, so you have to tend. take out some teeth in this, well, in this business. Well, there are two ways of doing that. We expand the jaws. We do have to remove some teeth sometimes. Now, there's another part that has to do oh, with... look at this one. Yes. Let's just pause and look yes. at it. So we're looking this at is crowding. the crowded one. Those are the crowded ones. Teeth one. are blocked everywhere. Out. Teeth that are blocked out, can't find spaces. And this and is the same mouth, you. apparently. Yes, we'll before and after. Now, what you know is that the impact of that crowding has to do with the gum, the teeth, because if those teeth are overlapping, there are areas that you can't clean, so you run the That's risk of correct. having tooth decay in between, having the gums that are inflamed, and then the patient complains that, oh, my, why are my gums bleeding? I may not want straight teeth, but I have other problems. Okay. So it's for people to know that coming to an orthodontist and straightening up your teeth doesn't have to do with just the beauty. So sometimes the it's, it's actually not an option. It's if you want good tooth health. If you want to have a good oral health, teeth, gums, you know, and good bites, because it's also the function, you know, then an orthodontist can help you there. Why is a good bite so important? A good bite is important to chew. As long as we live, we have those teeth. We need to eat. We need to chew. So to be able to chew, to be able to speak, there are certain words that I wouldn't uh -huh. be able to pronounce if, if my teeth, teeth are not are missing, I'm missing <laughs> or my teeth are, are, are flaring are apart, like when we have open bite, etc. Yes. So, and also to be able to preserve your teeth for the long haul. Because okay. if the teeth are not meeting at a certain level, some teeth will be wearing out faster than others. And then you see your teeth eroding and pretty much, you know, you can lose your teeth as healthy as they are. Okay, so, you know, we were talking about putting braces on and making sure you see a specialist for all that. Can you give us an idea of what kind of, of braces people put on? Because, to be frank with you, when you talk braces, most people are thinking of those metal things yes. in front and they're like, yes. ugh, so yes. ugly. But you know what? With what is happening now, we're wearing our mask. It's probably the best time ever. Oh, yes. To have braces there's, on. There's that. Yeah, braces on. <laughs> but good question. Permit me, I came with my props to be able to show a few things. Of course, this is the one that people know is the regular braces, regular metal, metal what braces. people call train tracks, yes. But they work amazingly well. So those are the metal braces. But it's never too late to straighten up your teeth between 7 and 70. We even have patients who are 80. 70? Yes. Are the gums have a bit too patient. weak by then no, to, really? to be handled? No, no. They move pretty much the same. You just have to adapt the, te the technique for it. And you could see that at that age, you might be wanting something a little bit more invisible. And that's why we have the, the ceramic braces, okay, where um, there's less wire that's visible. So that is one other option. Now, if you want to go further, you have the braces that are totally where? Behind. They're hidden. These are the lingual braces. Lingual braces. But aren't they uncomfortable? Um, it's true that because you know, they are towards the tongue, the tongue, the tongue, but like everything, it's just an adjustment time and the patient is able to move on. But this is really an advanced technique and it really works. We even have the fourth one here. I don't know if you can see the braces. I can't no, see No, it's a wireless, so wire-free. Wow. And this is a combination of what we call CAD CAM technology and well, digital. But unlike these other braces, yes. this one looks like something you can take off. Yes, these three are fixed, good. And this one is removable, which means it, we need your compliance quite a bit, but it works. You have series of plastic aligners that you have to wear over a period of time and you change every two weeks thereabout and that moves the teeth gradually and takes you to that amazing beautiful smile and functional smile that you've always dreamed of. So Let's this talk is about this compliance. Popular. Um, even though braces are on, a patient needs to brush his teeth or her teeth. How do they get to do that? Good question, uh, Mary. When, once you have your braces on, there's a special kit of toothbrushes that are given to you, okay. and a special technique 
that you know is shown for you to know how to brush your teeth so your the, gums so the patient has to be taught yes. to brush it's a special technique and a special brush oh a special brush yes to be able to know how to brush your teeth gums and know how to brush Do between you find the braces those in the market in the supermarket uh, like, you not come and so you give much. me give me a, a, a toothbrush for braces your orthodontist or your dental office should have a stock of these brushes so it's something okay. quite specialized remember you're not many orthodontists not to talk about orthodontic tools so your orthodontist should be able to guide you but yeah. what do you think about um the behavior of of people in nigeria let's uh, how, how do i put it how do they behave towards dental care? Mm. Are we responding? Do we do it right? Mm -hmm. Because people say, see your dentist every six months, yes. you know, do a scaling and polishing every whatever, every year yes. or whatever. Yes. Are, are Nigerians responding? Do they have good oral health behavior? Mm. I can tell you that a lot of changes have happened thanks to opportunities like this, where we're creating awareness, you know, for people to know about orthodontics, oral health. And we've seen, you know, um, the, the habits changing where people are now, through the health insurance companies, have also helped to make dentistry a bit more affordable. People coming into dental offices and paying attention a bit more to their oral health. So yes, visit the dentist twice a year, not just for cleaning, because your dentist can spot things that are going on in your mouth even before you, you, you realize that there's something wrong with your general health. Okay. Remember that your mouth is the gateway to your overall okay, body. Okay, you're going to explain yes, that next. That but... is very important. <laughs> I look forward to that. <laughs> I do not know how the oral health or your teeth affects your systemic health, the health in your body. Can you please explain? All right, let me first start by saying that by the definition of um, the world... Um, uh, WHO, having a healthy body is not just not having diseases or some infirmities, okay? Being healthy has to do with, yes, physical health, mental health, but, you know, social well-being okay. is very important. So I'd like to talk about that later. Now, the impact of the oral cavity in the overall health is the fact that just in the mouth, you have millions of bacteria. Okay. So any area where you have bacteria, you have inflammation. You have inflammation in the, in, the, in the mouth, inflammation goes in your blood vessels. Now, the same Just blood, like that? Yes. And the, the microorganisms go around your whole body, can get, you know, fixated in your heart or, you know, your lungs or in your kidneys or in your joints. So that is for someone to know that once there's bacteria in your body, don't think about it always just in the mouth. No. Oh. We've had patients who... You could swallow it. I mean, you don't have to swallow it. It's in the bloodstream. Okay. We have a patient that came to the practice. And was, let me stop you there okay. for a I'm bit so because we've got to go on break. Yes, yes. We're taking a short break now. Please stay with us. Teeth are always interesting. See you on the other side. Welcome back. We're talking orthodontics on Health Matters in Channels Television. Orthodontics, aligning the teeth to look good, to have a nice smile, and now we are learning for better health. Please call 0808-054-2233 for your questions on orthodontics, teeth, and you can tweet at CTV underscore Mary A. Matthew has already tweeted and he said he'd like to know, I'm sure a lot of people would want to know, how much does it cost? Okay, this is the first thing that puts people off. It has got to be expensive. Mm -hmm. Is there a way they can manage it? I mean, like any regular person, can they get orthodontics? Okay. Well, first and foremost, uh, thank you for your question. Dentistry is already expensive, okay. just due to the fact that the tools and the equipment that we use, the materials, you know, and orthodontics even more. All right. So now, um, giving a price tag to um, someone's problem is difficult without a consultation. When you come for a consultation, we take, we examine, we take x-rays, and then we're able to tell you, okay, this is where the condition is located, on the lower, on the upper, the front, the back, and then give you 
what it requires to fix it, and that's what will determine the cost. But of course, we have flexible payment plans. Um, the because office, it takes a while. It takes a while. It takes about a year and a half to two years. So we could spread, you know, the payment. But please do not ignore, and you know, because you're going to pay the price even more. Uh, by losing more but when want a person needs orthodont orthodontic care, the person has to count the cost and be ready to go the whole race, right? Because I heard that once you fix the teeth and they're looking all nice and shiny, if you don't pay attention, they start to slip again. Wow. Is that for research. everybody? It depends. So it's very important. It's what we call a retention phase where you're wearing retainers. Because you see, the body, the nature tends to take back its right. So it's important that when we move the teeth, that it's not done too fast. That's why people should not go for fast treatment. Oh, right. Fast, yeah, that makes you know. sense. So you have to, uh, to respect the time that is required to move the teeth so that they're stable. And Let's after that, quickly take Tunde and we continue. There's a retention, yes. Hello, Tunde, are you still there? Yeah, I'm here. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, morning, everything. People watch us all over the world, so it can be any time of the day. What's your question? Uh, first, first of all, let me say you are doing a fantastic job with Ed Thank Matters. You. I don't ever need this program for Thank nothing. You. Well done. Now, my question is this. There was a time about five years ago, I was having old in my teeth, and it was giving me serious problems. So when I met the dentist, she asked me if we could fill it or remove it. Because of the serious problem, I asked them to remove it. Now, five years down the line, I'm not, the thing is still there, the pain, you know, having food trapping into that stuff, and it's giving me a lot of discomfort. discomfort. What can I do, please? Okay, thank you, Tunde. I'll let uh, the orthodontist handle that. But can I just please quickly chip in? Mm -hmm. Couldn't it be pain on the gum because there's now a space there? Hmm. That's, a good, that's a good remark. Yes, now that the tooth is... Uh, thank you, Tunde, for your question. Now that the tooth is not there, you have a void. So you don't have a, a surface to chew on. Now what you and know... it's probably an important tooth. That's what, why it's getting that yes, problem. Yes, and that's usually the first molar. So what you know is that nature doesn't like void. As that tooth is taken away, the teeth beside it might be drifting. The tooth at the top might be also over erupting. Because they erupt. Yes. The tooth would grow down. Yes. As long as there's no contact, the teeth will start looking for contact. And that becomes a real... Wow issue where your bite collapses okay. and that's where orthodontists can come in again and that's why I talked about orthodontics being the architect of your bite so does it you mean know? once you're taking a tooth out you should see an orthodontist you should at see. least for an evaluation well if you do take a tooth out you could ask your dentist to quickly replace it so really the replacement using implants is what should come in immediately and perhaps your bite I will still be I'm okay. not sure this is common knowledge People just take out their tooth and go home. This is this is and this stay is like concern. that for twenty years. This is a concern because that creates a collapse in your bite, and your bite never functions the same way again. All right. Okay. So it's very important to know that preserve your teeth as much as you can. Don't tell your dentist just take it away. I'm in too much pain. It's, it's the no. pain. All right. It's the pain. We can handle that. the pain. We can handle. I usually don't like to pronounce that word already because there's so many ways of taking control of that. If if a person's teeth have gone really bad, yeah. maybe he has taken out three, four, five, six teeth mm -hmm. over the years, some nice molars and premolars, chewing is now difficult. Mm -hmm. 20 years have gone by, 25. Can you help him? Of course we can. We do full mouth rehabilitation. So you can help can... all that overhanging growth and everything? 100%. You can handle everything? Most of the time, thank God to orthodontist. We are the architect where we have to rehabilitate your bite because the bite collapses. And then after we have put things in the right, just like a pillar, then you can have your teeth replaced. Okay. So it's possible. And let's take Emmanuel. Amazing results. Hello, Emmanuel. Hello. Welcome to the show. What's your question? Yeah, I have a question to ask about. I think about two years ago, I removed one of my sons. It would uh, be a two CDK and uh, the main bacteria that uh, was causing the same thing. So I'm two years down the line now, okay, now the teeth is not growing back, so I don't know 
maybe the very possible uh, problem to was that I don't know. Did you say growing back? Yeah, it's small boy or five years old. Okay, okay. Mm. A five year old. Yeah. Okay. It's, sorry, can you repeat the question? A five year old had a tooth taken out. Taking out. Two years have passed and it's not growing back. Okay. So visit your dentist. Uh, it depends. It again should grow back. Tooth. Well, it depends years. on which tooth it is because we, if it's the first molar, which normally grows at six, it's a permanent one and that will not grow back. But if it's something that has to do with the baby tooth, then you should have a replacement tooth. But again, seeing a dentist and an orthodontist will be able to find out, hmm, maybe there's a tooth that is there that is blocked out. It does happen that you have teeth and without an x-ray, we can't tell. What's but if on. there's an x-ray and there's a tooth there trying to erupt and it's not coming out, oh, yeah, and the feet... That's an orthodontic job as well, uh -huh. to be able to go align the teeth, create space for that tooth, and go fixing an anchor to drag that tooth into place. Amazing things we do. Wow. Yes. So, um, can you, have you ever had patients you had to do surgery on that, look, this case is just too difficult for braces alone. Mm -hmm. We have to break the jaw yes. and reposition. Wow. That's what is called orthognatic surgery. And um, we combined it with the way of braces first to prepare. And of course, we've had cases that, you know, mm, Unfortunately, they didn't do the surgery here. They had to travel for the surgery. They came back for us to finish up the treatment. But yes, you have cases that require not just orthodontics, okay. orthognatic I am surgery. hearing that somebody did a surgery yes. on the jaw abroad. Well, not and you from had this to platform. fix it here. Yes. Oh, that's good. Yes. That's yes, good. Yes. <laughs> but we are working, building a team so we can manage everything from A to Z. Okay, something that's quite delicate, especially when you walk on the upper arch where you have the sinuses and everything is quite delicate. So you need a whole team that really uh, from I the have to mention pain to doctors. You know, mm -hmm. when you talk about breaking a jaw, mm -hmm. how do you how do you fix it back anyway, and how does uh, person handle the pain post op? You know what? Um, these cases, patients need a full team from psychotherapy to orthodontist to the surgeon because the, patient, the person is transformed. But I can tell you, it's simple. He says the person has just had a car accident. It's just that I happen to be the car. Okay. <laughs> That's why I always tell them. <laughs> and then we fix road traffic accident with putting the bones together as puzzles. So we just work with that in mind and restructuring the bones in line with what we want to achieve aesthetically and functionally. Thank you so much, Dr. Shambusha. I wish you had more time, but it's all gone. Yes. <laughs> Lovely yeah. to have you on the program. Thank you. And yes. wonderful to have you there too. Thanks for calling in. Thanks for sending messages. Have a great day. I am Mary Alale Yusuf. <laughs>